It's the NFL on EA Sports. And all eyes are on the Packers. Burner at wide receiver. It was a nice line for him a week ago, reaching a century mark and scoring a touchdown. It's the Packers and the Giants on Sunday night. We have a cold night in the Northeast. A bad evening to be without a parka, but we are set for football at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the New York Giants. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They come in off the extended break from the bye. I think it was much needed as well. You play two, two and a half months, you're ready for some time off to get set for the home stretch. Meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, they come in playing reasonably well. Losers the last time out, but winners of four or five before that. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And we will not have a return here to start. Thanks to the new rule, the fair catch will bring this out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They're brought out by a guy who's become something of a journeyman. He's played for five teams across the last six seasons. The well-traveled Teddy Bridgewater. You talk about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, it's the season is starting to wind down, got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He's able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. Hey, look at this Packers defense. We know they're going to be tough to throw on top three in the NFL defending the pass. Yeah, defending the pass hasn't been an issue for them. It's been stopping the run. And if they don't stop the run, they can't get back to their strength, which is guarding against the air attack. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to 11 on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator understanding what he thinks a defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. The Giants at 3-9 and nine now on the year, and they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Bridgewater eluding the pressure right. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 43. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved just as you said they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game but they must like the matchups they're getting well he's free going down the left side it's a foot race the way in touchdown new york saquon barkley with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Giants will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. for the point after is Randy Bullock. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. 
And he'll elect not to run with it. A fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. So here are the new-look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. A run there on first down gets three up to the 28. You talk about this giant defense against the pass, just numbers that they haven't liked. Number 30 in the league right now. You know, when actors get ready for a scene, they often ask the question, what's my motivation? But what's the motivation of this group? What's their mindset? What's the problem that they have? Will they create an identity that allows them to get better? Oh, his first throw of the game, going to be intercepted. It's Deontay Banks with it. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. As the Giants head back out there, let's take a look at the playoff picture in the NFC. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about, well, if the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. On second down, here's Barkley. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 74 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Rashawn Gary in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. They'll try the right side here. Barkley, that's a strong running. And room there to work it inside the 25. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Jamie Gillen now on to punt. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. 
Now Love. Caught right side. It's Lewis. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Love. Flushed out right. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. It'd be interesting to see what he decides to do the next time he's in the position we just saw there. Outside of the pocket, takes a throw downfield, it turns up incomplete. I wonder if next time he might take off and run. Escaping the pressure right. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time when nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. On the ready. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. <laughs> to pass, here's Jordan Love. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Love going to give this one to Jones. Shifts past him at the 45. Jones hit, and the ball's in. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Love looking to throw it. Steps away to his left. They fights him off. Buying time to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the punter Pat O'Donnell to kick it away. The back deep for the Giants is Dory Jackson. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The New York sent to take the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A very solid gain of 27. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. Now, on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Bridgewater. And that, oh, incomplete. Daylight in front if he could have held on, but he didn't. So instead, it's second down. Throwing his Bridgewater. Flush to his right. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. To throw, Bridgewater. 
That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Now, if you're going to get rid of it, you better get outside the pocket. Yeah, you have to get outside of that tackle-to-tackle -tackle box, right? Get out there, and then you can do it legally. But he wasn't able to do so, and they end up losing the down as well. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And he'll take this in at the one-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory for the first and ten. The Packers with a football here late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Now a second and two. To throw now. Here's Love. Dancing to his left. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Forced out to his left. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. And they've been kept off the scoreboard in this first half, but here toward the end, they're trying to change that in one fell swoop. But that winds up incomplete. Again, it's Love, eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. He gets it complete to Jackson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. And that one is still scoreless as they play in the second quarter. From there, we're off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Here, it was the always dangerous Saquon Barkley with the impressive first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Both teams making their final adjustments for the second half to come. And to bring the action your way, we go back to MetLife Stadium and Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. 
The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. So out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Up the middle, Jones. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Flushed out right. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards in a first. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain. So when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Play action this time with Love. Escaping the pressure right. He finds his man complete. That's Stevenson. 23 yards, the final tally. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. And inside give to Jones. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most value. Just a crazy throw there, and it's intercepted. And the Giants are going to get the football back at their own 17. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone, possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here of the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. They'll roll him out right. As this complete to Daniel Bellinger. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 95 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and six. Barkley inside handoff. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Being chased out left. And that will not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up a 
as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium as we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup, bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Now come the Packers for their next drive as we take a look at the playoff race in the NFC coming into the weekend. And as we take a look at the playoff picture, certainly still a lot of jostling to go in these final few weeks. For the moment, they would be a wild card team. Far from locked up, but that's, that's why this is exciting. These last few weeks, well, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 42 yards. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of, and in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of, trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback, and he hits a big one right there. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A give to Jones. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Now second and three. Here's Love. Flush to his right. He finds his man complete. It's Stevenson. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. He got 29 yards that time. You have to ask the question, what was the hell? Because it's a little surprising to me that he'd find that much room to run this close to the end zone. He doesn't quite get there, but he sets his guys up with a first and goal. get the lead here of course with a touchdown and that's what they're gutting for on first and goal throwing love touchdown Packers Romeo Dobbs his third touchdown now on the year and the Packers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter they went empty backfield all their weapons out wide so there, <laughs> there really was no secret here to what they were going to do no secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Carlson's extra point up and good, and the lead is now 10 to 7. A drive there of just four plays, and that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. And the Giants ready to come out now. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Bridgewater on first down. Eluding the pressure right. It's hauled in by Shepard. And wriggled down quickly just past the 40 at the 41. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jump start with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sweating for them here the entire second half. No gain on the play there. Second down. To throw is Bridgewater. Flushed out right. And that's complete to Shepard. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Working the sideline there, 
Good run, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to let the play call because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Here's Bridgewater. Steps away to his left. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Bridgewater's throw brought in by Bellinger. Three. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Now second and four. Bridgewater now. Buying time to his left. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And all the way down inside the five to the four. And he picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Now first and goal. Here's Bridgewater. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle. So they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Barkley is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Bridgewater to throw. Dancing to his left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So now Randy Bullock with an important field goal try here. This to tie things up in the final minute. Bullock's kick is good. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. And a fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Here's a second and seven. Now Love rolling to his right. Open man, this is Lewis. And he will get out of bounds here as well. What a play. Big yardage. They stop the clock. And they move it to the boundary of field goal range as well. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Ready, Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and ten. 
Here's Love. Escaping the pressure right. It throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Well, here's a classic second guess. I thought he had a better chance of a positive play if he just ran it himself. The go. coverage downfield was really good. That one falls incomplete. Love. Out to his left. Fighting to stay upright. Forced out to his left. He's got it at the 15. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. And his kick here is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. So there was a little meat on that ball, a little more than a chip shot considering the circumstances, but he's able to bang it home in what should be the game winner. And the key was getting him into a good position to kick from. I mean, if that's a 52-yarder, you're going to have some anxious moments, but kickers nowadays, you give them anything under 40, and they're automatic. And a fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock, and they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. They'll come up first and ten here. Now Bridgewater rolling to his left. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Here's second down. Bridgewater being chased out left. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So for the Packers, it's a very important win as they move to 9-4 and four now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Giants... It's unfortunately more of the same as they'll fall to 3-10 and 10 on the year. And they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in New Orleans against the Saints. I'm Brandon Gaudin. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.